16-11. Eight minutes remaining first half. Stolen by Mathis. Up ahead to Young. He lays it up and in. We need some of those this year, especially in Big Ten play. Okay, with the steal, leading the break. Dribbles in, takes it all the way and scores. Here's that last score. You see Mulcahy takes it away. Seeing the court, seeing the court. Didn't have anybody to his left, to his right. Covered. You're going to have to be able to say his name right. He's going to hear his name time and time again. A trap there and a forced turnover. And the lay-in for two. It's slippery out there. That's the second time we've seen a player slip. And the last couple of possessions, they get it right back and take up Young. Letting them know what will happen if they don't start defending and practice the next couple As days. a defensive coach, what stat do you think is going to frustrate him the most at halftime? Coming over with a block, Kamori. Turning the ball over nine times this early in the half, it's going to lead to situations where your defense isn't set. Rutgers is best when their defense is set, because look, you have... Ostra just barely able to keep it alive. Silverio swatted away by Johnson. Get it, what a luxury to have Miles Johnson waiting back there, two and a half blocks. Miles Johnson swats another one from Caleb Burgess. You might want to throw a ball fake into this one. <laughs> Johnson reading that like a book. You know, it's got to be Harper Jr. Shooto wide open inside and the closing speed by Miles Johnson. Amazing that he didn't commit a foul there. It's just knocked out of bounds. Yeah, after the hard hedge, it's a dead sprint to get back there, and it's all a timing play. Um, just very easily could have got a lot of contact. But his team is 9 of 44. Shooto blocked wow. from behind by Johnson. That was incredible, and he's showing off the ball handling skills, and... Another chance to show off at the free throw watch. Miles Johnson, he's he's behind the play, and he just, just does not give up on the play. What message is that sending from Jim Behan? Well, look, the message is the message we all know. They're limited in the front court, and you also are sending a message that you trust him. You know, he's the kind of guy that makes you better because of his energy. Now, granted, he's one of the quickest guys on the floor. He's going to create, and he's going to score, but his energy is terrific. And Cliff Omori, goodness gracious, get that out. That's not going to go with a rebound plucked by Aquan Smart. When you see Gio Baker do his step back move, that means his ankle's feeling pretty good. This is the layup and Morcel with a board for Maryland. Morcel end to end. Harper takes it away. Morcel couldn't get it up the second time. And here comes Rutgers once more. Young to commemorate the first cookoff between Mamadou Ducore and Miles Johnson as that's short with Harper grabbing it quick push ahead there's Miles Johnson Johnson did a good job on the deflection he ran the floor and was rewarded for his effort and there's there's the spatula right there just scooping that one off of Miles Johnson one week the golden spatula the next week the golden swat People are going to think you're doing the game on a delay after you called that out and it happened right away. Georgie had it pinned and Mathis sticks it to the backboard. Georgie Bashan is really didn't see him. Watch Mathis number 10. Hilo Coburn from Bashan is really, oh, Mulcahy pinned it. What a play by Mulcahy. He's out of the lane. See how far he is? Now here he comes on a sprint and he just jumps and gets the ball. This is a match that the Ohio State should take advantage of with Sui. That one blocked away by Johnson, who leads the Big Ten in blocks. Meon Williams has got to put his fingerprints on this first half. Yeah, I'm surprised he hasn't been as big of a factor here for Purdue. Oh, oh the touch play. pass and the finish from Mulcahy. I can take another look. Well, first he got the steal, stayed in bounds. And when he probes the defense, he's going about half speed, but he's still getting past everybody else. Pick up 
back in the pocket off that pass and Baker with the two-handed flush. 23 at night. You say, how are they going to make up for it? Well, Montez Mathis just drops five for five from the three-point line. They go 11 for 21 and they're running. And here is Mathis from Young for the first point. They're not going to win the game for Rutgers, but a few minutes here is pretty good. Toussaint leaning in. Denied by Harper. And he cleans up the rebound, and we get a whistle against Iowa. It's going to Rutgers. My goodness. You measures it, goes straight up, hangs, and blocks. Offensive player, even as a young guy. But his role is different this year. Young behind the back with the move. Missed the shot, but the follow's good. Great play by Aaron Henry to block that shot. And then Rocket Watts couldn't finish. Hogard had his shot rejected, so Rutgers found a way to get back on defense. Yeah, and Arn's out there getting some extended minutes as well. Obviously, he's an older guy, but here we go the other direction. Jacob Young, there's his second assist. Justin Suing had a tough opportunity here. Tries to get it back to Zed Keeper. Look at McCain running full speed because he knows I just got to run and Jacob Young will find him. Here comes a double. And Liddell almost has it taken away, and then he throws it away. Jacob Young able to finish with the right hand. And what our viewers may not understand, Brandon, is how physical Ohio State is. Oh, what a play. Well, there's a block on the other end, Miles Johnson. He said in the last three games, he's averaging about 12 points and under 40% shooting. Here's Young all the way. Lays it in off the turnover. First one. But here's the deflection, and we're off to the races. And you're back better than you see the defense. Davis recklessly knowing that he's going to go get it and grab it. He has but pretty much all the passes. Nice look. Young, the steal. Young lays it in. I've studied his game quite a bit over the last couple games, and he typically will put both of his hands in the offensive player's back, and that time he just played straight up. Stolen by McConnell. Young in transition. Or Bunny. We talked about his defense, but he can attack the rim with the best of them. Down low, Hera. It is blocked away by Johnson. He's been doing this his entire career. Gets beat, but recovers. Look at the length. You talk about and Finn Baker, beautiful. Seven points, three assists. Another lead change. Back and forth we go. And how about Young? And here is oh! Baker. Uh, take a look at Jacob Young go to the floor and the lead pass for the dunk. Ah! He did everything but sell hot dogs at halftime. Jacob <laughs> ah! Young. Finishes. Now Leal driving it and Johnson rejecting with both hands. Shot goes in and he wins the game. Rocket Watts to the basket. That one is blocked by Miles Johnson. You gotta get the stops first, Gus, and that's the first priority. Beautiful pass. Oh, somehow that got blocked. I think it was Miles Johnson with a hand on it. Young the other way. Point looks and convert. The Scarlet Knights part of a 7-0 run going into that last timeout and on a run here and good body control. That's eight years from him. That means we're eight years older too. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anybody that. Trey Williams has his shot blocked. Here comes Ron Harper Jr. Straight down the lane off the glass. High no loose ball. The lead in this game with 6.33 to play. Yeah, great defense that time by Robbins by cutting off the baseline from Johnson. Pinned by Harper Jr. He took his time right there, step back, and now just an errant pass. And McConnell, who's had his fingerprints uh, all over this game. What a play indeed. Caleb McConnell has been absolutely electric tonight. And that's saying something because he hasn't shot the ball great. Predating the Izzo era, that is really something. They lost by 30 to this Rutgers team. Yeah, 67-37. Great block by Miles Johnson. Lovely outlet pass, and then play a wise foul there by Anthony Gaines. Decision maybe that they had made early in the season. Uh, and again, it would be through no fault of Luca Garza's. That's a held ball that will go to Rutgers. So the defense has just been great. See, is he could uh, Garza? It's blocked by Baker here. I think he may have. Had Three-point shooting woes continue from the last 10 games. There's Jacob Young, the Big Ten Steals leader, does it again.
one of those guys that if he's going to go down, he's going to go down swinging. It's a tough cat to try and speed up and take his cookies, but he did. Gets it to go down. I thought he might, might have made a pretty good move there, but the officials on the spot saw otherwise. And a takeaway. The steal for Geo Baker leaves it behind for Young with the finger roll. Baker. The step back two. That one rims out. Rebound Jackson Davis. Has it taken away? Volcano's oh, at the horn is good. And Rutgers by four at the half. Jackson Davis thinks he has it secured. McKay, he comes from behind. The quick release over the shot block. Likely because every senior has the option to come back next year if they want to. But I'm not sure he's going to choose to do that or not. Blocked inside. Miles Johnson back on the floor and letting Trey Galloway know about it. Allows him to get his feet set. Excellent work in the offseason. Has made that a part, big part of his game. Walker driving. This time, Miles Johnson with the rejection. Young in transition. That pull up Jay is good. Eight points already. Last four games, 16 points combined for Mayan as Walker gets it and rejected by Ron Harper Jr. Here comes Young to the other end, and Young floats it over the front of the rim. Rejection, Sam Freeman. And then slipping to the rim, another rejection. This time Mulcahy. Where Johnson was going, and then Mulcahy. They're showing in that tournament started to help build and rejuvenate that fan base. That's a great point. They were a 14 seed and started to turn some heads, and Geo Baker has given Rutgers the lead. Telegraph pass. Here tonight and all week long in the Big Ten tournament. Yeah, I agree. And the excitement is palpable for every uh, team's fan base. Jacob Young, nice steal and finish on the other.